If you're a Democratic mega donor, this is a very tough moment for you. Your candidate is going to lose. All the polls show that. Joe Biden will not be elected president if current trends continue. So you need to make a change. But there's a problem. And that problem is Joe Biden's running mate. She's half Jamaican. Therefore, she's holy. You can't criticize her, much less demote her. That's not allowed. You are stuck with Kamala Harris. And she is even more unpopular than Joe Biden. So what do you do? Well, if you're smart, maybe you subvert the other party. Maybe you back a Republican candidate who's actually a Democrat, whose priorities are identical to yours. And of course, they found one. Her name is Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is a liberal. She is all in on the four tenets of neoliberalism, which are white guilt of finance-based economy, mass immigration, and endless neocon wars. Strip away all the outward characteristics and Nikki Haley is identical in her priorities to Joe Biden and the people who back Joe Biden. Facts, facts. And I talked about this just the other day. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'll just let this brother take it away. Check it out. Nikki Haley and Joe Biden are not that much different. They're as quintessentially the same on Ukraine. They're the same on China. They're the same on almost all national security. They're the same as our relationship to NATO and the United Nations. They're the same on almost all of the defense contracting, forever wars, regime change. They're the same, which is why I think you see the establishment. One, they'd be fine with Joe Biden because the status quo remains the same. But two, you have someone like Nikki Haley, who is essentially Joe Biden like. They might differ on some cultural issues here and there, pro-life versus pro-choice, right? But to the people who are making all the Benjamins, they don't really care, which is why you're seeing this narrative emerge that, oh, look at Haley is closing in on Trump. Nikki Haley. Mm -hmm. She's the same as Joe, in my humble opinion, and apparently a Dude. lot of other folks. Uh, and she recently, uh, or at least I came across this clip as well. And um, let me know your thoughts about Nikki after this clip as well. Check it out. But let's keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life, too. They have kids, too. They have a heart, too. They So we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life, and they're desperate to get here. Did that sound like a Republican to you? Or did that sound like Nikki Biden? or Biden Haley. <laughs> however, however you want to put that. Y'all y'all let me know. Let me know. But let's continue. Let's continue with Tucker. Watch this tape. This is from last month. Nikki Haley explaining with a straight face that actually Vladimir Putin was behind the October 7th attacks in Israel. Remember when I told you Putin hit rock bottom? Hamas invaded Israel and did all that brutality on October 7th. October 7th is Putin's birthday. Who's the happiest person in the world right now? Putin. Why? Because the U.S. and the West took all their eyes off of Ukraine and what we do? Started looking at Israel. Did Putin call Netanyahu? Nope, not for 10 days. You know who he did call? Hamas. They came the next day and they held hands and said they were friends. We now know the Russian intelligence is what helped Hamas know how to get through that barrier. See the connection. If we supported Ukraine and supported Israel, that's only 5% of our defense budget. <laughs> See, Putin and Ukraine are actually integrally connected to Hamas and Israel. And we need to spend all of our attention and all of our money on those matters rather than on our own country, which is degrading faster than most people can even keep track of. Well, that's completely insane, of course. But it's also something that Joe Biden might say were he capable of speaking that lucidly. And it's certainly something that Joe Biden's biggest donors agree with which is why many of them are now backing Nikki Haley. See how this works? Vivek Ramaswamy does. He's actually engaged in this. He's running for president and he's figured out what's actually going on. He joins us now. Vivek, thanks so much 
for coming on. What have you noticed about the kind of subtext to this race? What's actually going on here, do you think? Yeah, well, look, I've been convinced for a long time, Tucker, that this was not going to be a standard Trump versus Biden race. Right. There's just been enough staring you in the face that made that obvious, right? You start with the trials and the civil trials and the prosecutions, and then they go to the non-prosecution and illegal removals from a ballot without trial on the Trump side. The thing that fascinated me about the Biden side of this, though, is you also see some of the same dynamics. The documents case for Biden trotting itself out after years long ago in the Senate. You see a lot of other things with Biden. Why is the Hunter stuff coming out now when this has been known for seven years? And so where I thought this was going was Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama or whichever other puppet they're trotting out to replace Biden. But one of the things that's become clear to me, so that's where I thought this was going. It was not what was meeting the eye for sure. I think what's become clear to me now, I'm in the thick of this GOP primary, is that the real puppet they're trotting out isn't Gavin Newsom. It isn't Michelle Obama. I was wrong about that, actually. I think the true puppet masters, the thing about them is they're fundamentally nonpartisan in nature. There's a few things they care about. Keeping the foreign war machine humming is high on the list. Keeping the administrative state's control of the United States is also high on the list. They found a much more convenient puppet within the Republican Party itself. It's not Gavin. It's not Michelle. It's Nikki, actually. And I think that if you just follow exactly who are the very people who are paying to keep Donald Trump off the ballot, who are funding the lawsuits that keep Trump off the ballot, the Reed Hoffmans of the world funding lawsuits against Trump, the Larry Finks of the world, king of the woke industrial complex, CEO of BlackRock. It's just obvious and hiding in plain sight. Who are these people propping up? It's not Biden and it's not even Gavin Newsom. It's Nikki Haley within the Republican Party itself. And I think that that makes for a very convenient front man because then they actually have absolved themselves from any allegations of partisanship or democratic partisanship against Donald Trump. It's, they can say, oh, no, 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 we're not partisans. We're actually bipartisan. Actually, the deep state, and I would say the managerial class more broadly, is fundamentally nonpartisan. They have their core objectives. And Nikki makes for a far better Trojan horse to actually accomplish that objective than anybody else. And so when you look at the dynamics within the mega donor class or otherwise, it is now crystal clear to me, Tucker, that let's just get to exactly the plan that they have. I mean, I've been alluding to this for a long time. I wanted people in the campaign trail and others to be able to draw their own conclusions. I don't want to stuff my views down people's throats. But I think it's just become crystal clear that it's now sh staring everybody in the face equally obviously that they want to narrow this down by they. I mean, the system, the bipartisan system wants to narrow this down to be a two horse race between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. They want it one way or another by hell or high water, take Donald Trump out, eliminate him from competition one way or another and prop Nikki Haley up to just waltz straight in to keep the war machine humming and to effectively keep the censorship industrial complex and the administrative state intact exactly where it was in the post 9-11 Bush Cheney era. That's exactly what's going on. I, 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 and it's hiding in plain sight. Exactly. <clears throat> I definitely agree with Vivek and Tucker Carlson there. I think it's it's just them trying to just prop up another establishment character. Right. Like you said, somebody who's just going to keep the same narrative moving along and satisfy enough of the Republicans to not boil things over. Right. Oh, because look, we got a Republican elected guys. Look, you got a Republican. You know, it's 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 like uh, it'd be just as bad as getting, you know, I don't know. Um, why am I drawing a blank? What's 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 the ch Liz Cheney elected president? And saying, oh, look, guys, you got a Republican. It's like, not really a Republican. And that's quite clear. You know, that's, I mean, y'all I mean, y'all, let me know your opinions in the comment section. Obviously, this is my personal opinion. Y'all let me know. Is Nikki Haley a Biden light? Because the way that I see it at this point, she's literally Biden light. And you know, and I, I said this in, in, a, in a recent video. Maybe a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, but I, I, I said this and some of you may remember, I said, I don't understand how Nikki Haley is polling above some of these folks. Like what, what is it? What is it? 
is it the abortion thing? And I, I think I even said, maybe it's the abortion thing. Maybe that's it. But now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Because if you guys remember, at the very start of all this, at the very start, Nikki Haley wasn't even getting mentioned. Like, she wasn't even a thought. It was Trump and it was Ron DeSantis. Trump and Ron DeSantis. And Vivek was sprinkling in here or there. And obviously, as he's gone on, he's gotten stronger with... Uh, you know, some of the, some of the times he's absolutely, um, called out some folks, but Nikki Haley wasn't mentioned, wasn't even a thought. And then all of a sudden, all at once, boom, Nikki started rising in the polls. Oh, look, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki polls, Nikki, Nikki's up in the polls. Look, whoa. and I'm like, hold on. What, 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 what is going on here? What, what is happening? And now it all makes sense. The establishment allegedly, of course, I got to say allegedly. The establishment allegedly realized, okay, Biden isn't going to work. If we put Biden up against Trump right now, he's going to lose. There's nothing that, and, and remember, I said this because some of you were a little skeptical. You guys were like, you know, Rich, they're going to they're gonna do the same thing they did before. And I'm like, the margin's going to be too great for them to do it. It'd be way too obvious. They'd have to do like in state have to do insane numbers in order to make that happen and it, it, it would just be way too obvious they, they can't get away with something like that it is impossible it's too far of a gap too far of a gap um because the last time trump didn't lose by a whole lot it was less than a hundred thousand i forgot the exact number but a hundred thousand in the grand scheme of things is like this much but this time around the margin was going to be way way bigger I mean, you could see it. You see it in the polls. You see it in in in, in the personal interviews of, of, of folks. You see it in the social media posts. You see it all over the place. The margin was going to be way too great for them to close that gap. And so, in my opinion, right, allegedly, they said, you know what? How can we still, how can we still keep this thing going? How can we stay here? And I don't blame them, right? Because, uh, you know, we recognize what they have done, and uh, if one of us had done the same thing, I'm sure we'd all fight to stay out of prison for the rest of our natural lives, right? I said that before. That's just natural. Uh, preservation, okay? So I don't necessarily blame them for that. That's to be expected. That's, that's common sense to me. That's obvious. They're going to try to um, remain in that position. But their way of doing it is saying, well, let's just put a Republican in there. First, it was Ron, in my humble opinion. And that show was just tanking at a rapid rate. And then they said, you know what? Actually, we like the things that Nikki is saying here. Let's let's coach her up a little bit. Let's get behind her. Boom. Then she started rising. Oh, she surpassed Ron DeSantis all of a sudden. Oh, Nikki's closing in on Trump. And I'm like, where? I don't see it. Where, where is this closing in on Trump? I, I, outside of the, 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 the political sphere, I don't hear Nikki Haley's name being mentioned. I see Ron DeSantis' name being mentioned. Oftentimes not in a good light, right? Nine times out of ten it's not in a good light, but his name is mentioned. I almost never see Nikki Haley's name. So how in the world is she rising in the polls if I never see her name? Ever. Not ever. Not one time, because I told you guys, I go to like leftist pages on social media when anything big political happens and I read through the comments. Not one time. Not once. And I'm not even exaggerating. Not one time have I seen Nikki Haley's name. Not once. I've seen Trump's. And I've showed you guys the post. Cause I was shocked. I was like, whoa, uh, on a leftist page, people saying bring back Trump, Trump 24, free my boy Trump on a leftist page saying this about Trump. Oh yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Joe Biden can't win. I've seen Ron DeSantis' name in a bad light, right? Nine times out of 10, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the bill that they misnamed. I, for, I, I can't even remember the actual name of the bill. See, I've, I've fallen into their, their trick. I don't even want to say the fake name that they gave it. Cause that's, that's, that's not what it's actually called. What, what was the, it was like family crap, but yeah, I've seen Ron DeSantis name and oftentimes it's attached with the fake name that they gave the Florida bill, right? 
but never have I seen Mickey's. And now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Makes perfect sense. But as always, y'all let me know your thoughts, your opinions on all of this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.